This is a CBS 4 News update. Hi, I'm Elliot Rodriguez with the CBS 4 News update. President Trump announced the death of ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi from the White House on Sunday. The president revealing the ISIS leader died in a raid conducted by the U.S. military in northwest Syria on Saturday. Baghdadi's death marks the end of a years-long hunt to find one of the most wanted terrorists in the world. The Secretary of Defense and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff relayed more details about the raid on Monday, including the fact that two of al-Baghdadi's associates were captured and are in U.S. custody. The president says he may release videos showing some of the last moments of al-Baghdadi's life. A fast-moving wildfire erupted overnight near the Getty Museum in Los Angeles, prompting mandatory evacuations of nearby areas. At least five homes have been destroyed and more than 500 acres have burned. A driver posted this video of one side of the busy 405 freeway engulfed in flames. Fire officials say strong winds are fanning the fire and ordered mandatory evacuations of nearby areas. In Northern California, fire in Sonoma County has destroyed more than 100 homes and buildings. The Kincaid fire grew to more than 66,000 acres and was only 5% contained. The fire started last week but intensified over the weekend due to hurricane force winds. The Getty fire and Kincaid fire were among more than a dozen fires burning in California. A truck driver charged with manslaughter in the deaths of 39 people appeared before a British judge today. Prosecutors say 25-year-old Maurice Robinson is part of a global trafficking ring that brings large numbers of illegal immigrants into the UK. Police found 39 bodies in the back of a truck Robinson had parked at an old industrial site outside London. Robinson appeared in court via video link from prison and was not required to enter a plea. He will be kept in custody until he appears at a higher court next month. Now, CBS4 weather with chief meteorologist Craig Setzer. While much of the country is cool and some places cold, we stay hot and humid here in South Florida. We're south of that front there. Unfortunately, no relief in sight. A lot of cold air through the middle of the country back into the Rockies and snow expected ahead of that front as we go into the middle part of the week. Showers and some thunderstorms and several snowstorms expected to spread out from the Rockies onto the plains there. That's your Wednesday time frame for us. No heat relief in sight, unfortunately. No cold fronts coming through. So it's going to be a warm and humid Halloween uh, trick-or-treating day on Thursday. Highs in the upper 80s, lows in the mid-70s. By Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, temperatures, well, Elliot, they just basically stay warm. We're having a hard time shaking summer here. Hopefully, it'll just wear out. Greg, thank you. That's our news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's important headlines.